Hey guys! This week we started practicing visualizing and learning how we use author's words to help us visualize. Today we're going to listen to the story, The Summer My Father Was Ten. So first thing we need to do is you need to get your paper out of your reading pocket. So I want you to open your to your reading pocket in your eight pocket folder and get out the paper that says, The Summer My Father Was Ten. It says your turn to practice visualizing at the top. Okay. Pause the video and get your paper out. Okay, as we listen to the story today, I am going to pause a few times throughout the story and I'm going to ask you to notice some things on the page that we're getting ready to listen to. And then we're gonna pause after that page and I want you to go to your paper and record your answers down, okay? So what you'll have to do is when I say, now pause the video, I want you to pause the video and write your answers on your paper. Let's go ahead and get started. This is The Summer My Father Was Ten. The Summer My Father Was Ten by Pat Bryson, illustrated by Andrea Shine, and read aloud by Mr. Paradise. From Boyd's Mill Press Publishing. Every year, my father and I plant a garden. Tomatoes, peppers, onions, marigolds, and zinnias grow in neat straight rows. We pull the weeds that pop up and we water, mulch, and tend it all through the summer, cutting the flowers to make bouquets for the kitchen table or to give to Mrs. Murawski, our neighbor who broke her hip last winter and has to walk with a cane. And every spring, my father tells me about Mr. Bella Vista and the summer my father was 10. Ms. On this page, I want you to really notice and pay attention to how the author describes the vacant lot. Okay, And think about which words that the author uses as helping you visualize the setting where this is taking place. Mr. Bella Vista lived alone in the third floor apartment above my father and my grandmother. Plants grew all winter on the windowsill, and in the spring he trudged with rake, garden fork, and trowel to the vacant lot next door to plant a garden. Some years he had to drag away old tires, broken bottles, and some other trash before he could even start. Now I want you to stop and pause the video. I want you to think about which words helped you dis or visualize the setting just now of the vacant lot. So when you pause the video, now I want you to go to your paper and where it says page three, notice the way the author describes the vacant lot. Which words helped you visualize the setting? I want you to go ahead and pause the video and record your answer now. Once his garden was planted, though, you could find him there early every morning, weeding, watering, and watching over his plants. And in the evening, he would go and sit on an old wooden folding chair and listen to opera on his radio. My father didn't know much about the old man, only that he always wore flannel shirts buttoned up to his neck winter or summer. He didn't talk much to other people who lived in the building. And when he did talk, his accent made his words sound strange. My father and his friends made fun of him sometimes and called him Old Spaghetti Man. Then, one August afternoon, when my father was 10, he and his friends were playing baseball near Mr. Bellavista's garden. My father's friend Nicky hit a ball over my father's head and it landed in the middle of the garden. My father ran to get it and found it under a big leafy tomato plant. The tomatoes were round and red and ripe, just about the size of a baseball. And my father thought, <laughs> Boy, 
I'd like to see Nikki's face if I threw a tomato instead of the ball and he hit it and it splattered all over him. So on this next page, I want you to listen carefully and notice the, word that the words that the author uses to describe the games that the boys are playing in the garden. Which words help you visualize the action on this page? So pay close attention to the words that the author uses to show action on this page. And so, that's what he did. And Nikki did hit it and got splattered, just like my father thought he would. My father laughed and laughed, and Nikki chased him back into the garden and grabbed a tomato off the vine and threw it at my father. Then my father threw one at Nikki, and then Joe threw one at Kevin. Before long, they were all throwing tomatoes and peppers at each other or batting them against the side of the building. The hollow peppers thumping against the bricks and showering thin white seeds and pulp on the wall and ground. The tomatoes hitting with a splat and bursting into messy globs. They even pulled up onions and uprooted the flowers, swinging them around and around over their heads before letting them fly. They were shouting and laughing so much that they never heard Mr. Bella Vista coming. But when Nikki stopped laughing and suddenly stood still, eyes wide and staring, my father turned and saw his neighbor. Now I want you to think back to that page where the author describes the boys playing with the vegetables from the garden. Which words helped you visualize the actions, the things that were going on on this page? Now I want you to pause the video, go to your paper, and where it says page nine, that is where I want you to record the words that helped you visualize the action. Go ahead and pause now. Now I want you to think about, how does visualizing the action help you better understand the story? On your paper, in the second part of page nine, I want you to record how does visualizing the action help you better understand the story? I want you to think hard about that. Go ahead and pause and record your answer on your paper. He was shaking his head and saying something in Italian. He looked at the walls splattered with tomatoes and peppers and at my father and his friends. And he said just one word, why? My I want you to, on this page, I want you to think about and notice the words the author uses to describe the father and Mr. Bella Vista's actions on this page. Really pay attention to the words they use to describe their actions and their feelings, okay? How do you think the words, or how do the words make you feel? We're gonna pause after this page to think back on this. My father looked at the garden, trampled and ruined, and it was only then that he realized what they had done. He looked back at Mr. Bella Vista but the old man had gone to his plants and was tenderly picking up the broken pieces and setting them in a pile at his feet. My father's friends all went away, leaving my father and Mr. Bella Vista alone in the lot. My father wanted to go over and tell his neighbor that he was sorry, but his feet were like heavy stones holding him there. He watched for a few more minutes and then dragged himself home. I want you to think about the words the author used on this last page. 
to describe the father in Mr. Bella Vista. Okay. How do these words make you feel? What is the mood you have right now? Go ahead and pause the video and record your answer on the lines by where it says page 13. How do the words on this page make you feel? The next morning, the mess had been cleared away. The ground raked smooth. There was no way to know that a garden had ever been there. But my father knew. My father's friends seemed to forget all about what they had done. But my father couldn't forget. Every time he saw Mr. Bella Vista, he remembered and wanted to tell him that he was sorry but he just couldn't make the words come out. Fall and winter came. My father went to school, played with his friends, and almost forgot about what had happened. But when April came again, he remembered. He watched for signs of his neighbor getting his garden ready, but nothing happened. May came, the sun was warmer, the days brighter, but still Mr. Bella Vista made no move to plant. Finally, one day when my father was going up the stairs on his way home from school, he met his neighbor coming down. Mr. Bella Vista, my father began, uh, are you going to plant a garden this year? Mr. Bella Vista's eyes look straight into my father's. So you can destroy again? He asked. No, my father stammered. I wouldn't do that. I, I, I mean, I'm sorry about last year. And I thought maybe I could help. Mr. Bella Vista didn't say anything at first. He studied my father for a few minutes and then rubbed his jaw with the back of his hand. Mm, tomorrow, he said at last. Tomorrow, we will make a garden. Now I want you to turn your page over. Okay. On this next page, I want you to notice the word the author uses to describe the garden noun. Which words helped you visualize the plants in the garden? So pay attention to how the author describes the plants in the garden and think about which words are helping you visualize. The next day was Saturday. My father and the old man worked all day together. When they were finished, they had a patch of ground carefully raked and planted with tomato and pepper plants teeny tiny onions and seeds for marigolds and zinnias. Now when my father looked at the garden, he didn't get a hard knot in his stomach. Summer came and every morning my father and Mr. Bella Vista checked their plants. My father carried water from his apartment during dry spells and learned to tell what was a weed and what wasn't. When the flowers bloomed, the old man gave my father bouquets to take to my grandmother. And when the tomatoes were red and ripe and a little bit bigger than baseballs and the peppers and onions were ready, my father helped Mr. Bella Vista make spaghetti sauce. Then they all ate dinner together in Mr. Bella Vista's apartment. And now I want you to think back to the next, the last couple pages. I want you to think about the words the author used to describe the garden. Now I want you to record on your paper where it says page 21, which words helped you visualize the plants in the garden. If you need to rewind a little bit, you can do so. Okay. I want you to pause the video now and record your answer. Now I want you to think about why is it important to pay attention to all these words I've been asking you to pay attention to when the author describes some of the things in the story? Why is it important to pay attention to these words? Pause the video again and record your answer on the second part of page 21. 
really think about how the words help you visualize. Go ahead and pause now and complete your paper. Now that we've noticed how the author uses words to help us visualize as we read a story, let's finish the story. And listen to opera on the radio. Every year after that, my father helped his neighbor in the garden until the spring when my father was 16 and Mr. Bella Vista got sick and went to live in a nursing home. Then my father planted the garden himself. And when the flowers bloomed, my father carried bouquets on the bus to his old friend. And when the tomatoes and peppers and onions were ready, he made spaghetti sauce and put some in the freezer and told Mr. Bella Vista that they would have a spaghetti dinner when he came home. But Mr. Bella Vista never did come home. And now every year, my father and I plant a garden. Tomatoes, peppers, onions, marigolds, and zinnias in neat straight rows. And every year, I hear the story of the summer my father was 10. I want you to look back at your paper. Turn it over and go to the front page. I want you to look over each question. Make sure you've completed each question with complete sentences. Also make sure that you have answered all parts of the question.